पोषण मिले सबको अच्छा सुपोषित हो देश में हर गर्भवती हर नवजात शिशु और हर बच्चा प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने ये राह दिखाई भारत सरकार एक लक्ष्य लेकर आगे आई संतुलित और पोषण भोजन हम सभी के लिए जरूरी है विशेष रूप से गर्भवती महिला और नवजात शिशु के लिए क्योंकि यही हमारे भविष्य की नींव है दो में जागी देश में एक चाह पहुंचा सब तक पोषण माह सबने की देश को सुपोषित बनाने की तैयारी जैसे लाखों आंगनवाड़ी के कार्यकर्ता सोशल वर्कर्स की वही जिम्मेदारी बारी बारी से गांव, कब्जा और शहर में जानकारी पहुंचाना अपनी अलग अलग गतिविधियों से कुपोषण से लोगों की लड़ने में आग जगाना बच्चे को मिले खूब अच्छा आहार हर दिन मिले उसको पोषण पक्का और यही जानकारी हर एक एक को बताए नेशनल न्यूट्रिशन वीक इज ऑब्जर्व एवरी ईयर फ्रॉम सेप्टेम्बर फर्स्ट टू सेवेंथ टू रेज अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग द प्रॉपर ईटिंग हैबिट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन एज पर द ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स रिपोर्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इंडिया रैंक्स वन हंड्रेड वन अमंग वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन कंट्रीज एंड मैल न्यूट्रिशन इज अ मेजर कॉज ऑफ डेथ अक्रॉस द कंट्री रिपोर्ट सजेस्ट डैट फोर्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इन इंडिया इज मैल नरिश्ड इन एडिकुएट फूड सप्लाई अंडर न्यूट्रिशन एंड हंगर कैन लीड टू एलिमेंट्स एंड डिजीजेज The Indian government first introduced this week long campaign in 1982. The focus of Nutrition Week is to educate people on the importance of nutrition, a healthy lifestyle and a balanced diet. Therefore, one must acquire the essential nutrients and food for growth and a healthy lifestyle. Nutrients such as carbohydrates, fibers, fats, proteins, minerals and vitamins should involve in our daily diet to maintain our immune system. Now to real picture the major tribes of India in the mysterious past it encompasses all the dim origins of life their lifestyle is completely different from the rest of the world with an obscure history they are still competing to get along with the modern trends their livelihood mainly depends on the agriculture and handicrafts but the tribes of india still display a wide spectrum of another india you hardly know about one cannot however get a complete picture just by studying or getting close to one particular tribe as each of them has their own respective culture food festival dance music religion and language still to get a brief idea about indian tribes here's a comprehensive list of 20 indian tribes picked from different uh, corners of india so here we go there are different types of tribes first gon tribes known for their velar the gon tribes are mostly found in central india in the chindwara district of madhya pradesh they are also spotted in the bastar district of chatisgarh parts of maharashtra andhra pradesh and odisha second bhil tribes This tribal community in India is mostly spotted in the Aravalli ranges of Sirohi in Udaipur and some places of Dungarpur and Banswara districts of Rajasthan. Further, the settlements of the Bhil tribes are also found in parts of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Tripura. Third, the Santhal tribes. The Santhal tribes are the major tribes of West Bengal and are mostly seen in the districts of Bankura and Purulia. They are also widely seen in parts of Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Assam. Food is an important part of our identity and culture. We are known by what we eat. It reflects the geography to which we belong and the locally available resources used in our cuisine. Adivasi food systems are deeply embedded in local culture and traditions. Given that the way of life of these indigenous people is so closely linked to nature and its resources. Jharkhand is a natural abode and home to numerous adivasi communities constituting a little over 25% of the total population the adivasi food of jharkhand may be defined in terms of a few characteristic features that is food is influenced by geographical conditions and the habit is closely associated with habitat this means food habits are guided by locally available resources adivasis consume boiled food like rice pulses herbs or saag and meat and so some on some occasions animal or bird meat is roasted on a fire because of these consistent food habits that are based on locally available resources instances of serious disease are considerably lower among adivasis nutrition value 
Ingredients used in Adivasi foods are a great source of nutrition in addition to taste. Adivasi foods provide high immunity to diseases and protection from deformities. Food like tuber, shoots, berries, nuts, etc. are a good source of protein and fat. The consumption of meat, fish, egg, etc. provides a good quality protein apart from important vitamins and minerals. Widely consumed wild or a grown tubers enrich their dietary requirements of the calcium, iron, minerals, elements and vitamins. Medicinal values apart from providing critical nutritional support, Adivasi foods have a curative medicinal properties. Adivasi have a huge reposit- repository of a traditional knowledge when it comes to the uses of different herbs and plants from curing alignments. Jharkhand Adivasi food heritage, a characteristic feature of the Adivasi foods of Jharkhand is a simplicity and great variety which includes numerous green leafy vegetables, most of which are uncultivated and only collected from forest. A typical Adivasi platter in Jharkhand would feature boiled rice or urad dal, mashed item, chutney and any non-vegetarian items which range from big to small meat, local fishes, crabs, etc. Cooking methods and equipments. As the food is simple, so are the cooking methods and equipments is used in the processing of food raw material helping in preserving the nutritional qualities of food. Cooking process involves slow heat, slow cooking and shallow fry involving very little oil, boiling and steaming are common method and lot of dishes are just produced by either mashing with hands or grinding by stone. Common food processing equipments include a wooden pounder used for a breaking rice or a round double stone grinder used for breaking pulses, etc. A stone slab with, uh, with a mortar used to make chutney and a wooden mortar to grind spices. Adivasi Snacks Duska is an undeniable the most popular Jharkhandi all-weather all-time snacks or deep fried ball made from a rice-based batter. It can simply be nibbled as it as or had a chutney or a ghogni, but it states best with mutton or a desi chicken curry. Buras is an, in, another popular snack which has found its way from the Adivasi's cuisine to mass adoption in society. Made up of urad dal batter, the small balls are deep fried and taste well with any chutney. Seasonal snacks. Apart from regular snacks like duska and bura, these are the snacks based on the seasons. Popular ones among these, which are routinely consumed in an Adivasi's household, include boiled peanuts, boiled sweet potato, and dry chuda or flattened rice, something that can be munched while you walk, talk, or do anything else. Non-vegetarian food. The non-vegetarian food basket of Adivasis is equally diverse. These include micro food sources like ant eggs, small game as well as big meat. Summer specials. Botal bath is a kind of watery rice. It is prepared with freshly cooked rice where proportions of starch and water are mixed in equal proportion. It turns out best with traditionally pro- processed rice. It turns out best with traditionally processed red rice. It has a soothing effect on the body and provides all-day energy, even for hard labor under the strong summer sun. It's best eaten with dry saag fry with potato or bharta, chench bhaji or puktal chutney. Dukki Tian is a typical Oran dish where small balls made from Urad Dal batter are poured in a bubbly curry. Since Urad Dal is locally grown by Adivasis, it is the pulse of popular choice. Dried leaves cooked with Urad Dal, example, Moong Saag made with Urad Dal is a complete meal. This goes best with the pork. Leto Adivasi cuisine includes a dish called leto or mixed porridge which is a complete meal in itself. A typical leto dish in hilly areas consists of mahua cooked with dal and various beans. In different Adivasi communities, 
one finds several variants of liquor beverages handia is a popular alcoholic drink among the asifasis beverages handia is a popular alcoholic drink among the adivasis of jharkhand it is made by either fermenting rice or madhua or both along with the local herb it is also referred to as rice beer or rice wine it is called diang in the kolan area and unlike in other parts of jharkhand here the fermented rice is completely mixed with the water thus serving as a complete meal it is a it is a stimulant and coolant to help brave the summer sun the drink is also used in different adivasi rituals and functions mahua brew is another popular li- mahua brew is another popular local alcoholic drink which is made at home from the flowers of the mahua tree and is consumed as something special during ceremonial occasions rituals and other family celebrations traditionally mahua liquor is given to women after child delivery which keeps the mother warm besides providing strength because of the iron supplement present in the mahua thank you tribal women work harder than men both at home and in the forest the responsibility of gathering food for the family usually falls on the women in this episode we will see how tribal women bring new bamboo from the forest this work is not easy after this these women cook in bamboo vegetable for the family in a very special way these women also sing beautiful gondi song while cooking the bamboo shoot swasthya tribal health and nutrition swasthya is a one stop solution presenting the health and nutrition status of a tribal population of india it provides information and data as well as priorities innovation practices research briefs case studies and best practices collected from different parts of india to facilitate the exchange of evidence expertise and experiences it is envisaged that information available on swasthya will provide insights to all stakeholders working with the tribal population of india in the area of health and nutrition further it is hoped that this will result in evidence based policy making swasthya is maintained by the center of excellence for knowledge management for health and nutrition established by the ministry of tribal affairs